welcome to your in-depth weekly horoscope for week commencing the 25th of January for the Sun or the Ascendant. If you've yet to subscribe to my channel, I'd be honoured if you did so now. Please click or tap on the bell notification symbol. Also, if you'd like to check out your year ahead personal horoscope forecast and character analysis combination, please see beneath this video. You can get 30% off. It's based on your unique birth data, so no two reports are the same, and gain serious insights for the months ahead. You will get a full 12 months from the point of order. Hello Leo and welcome to your in-depth weekly horoscope for week commencing the 25th of January. This week on Thursday sees the full moon in your sign. This is very much about you uh, spending time really reflecting on your relationship needs. Now I don't mean just specifically in terms of your romantic or uh, intimate involvements. It can be any type of relationship because Uranus and Mars are very tightly packed together in the part of your horoscope to do with your work relationships and because that's interacting with this full moon there is the potential for issues that have been bubbling beneath the surface for some while to really come out into the open. I think a lot of it for, for you, for me, is that I feel that you've had to be very self-sacrificing over the last couple of years and certainly over the last six months as Mars, the planet of drive, has been in a very adventurous part of your scope. Any sense of frustration you may have been feeling about being hemmed in or not being able to do what you really want, that may have really started to manifest itself in a much less satisfactory way. So this is a time to set your intentions really about how you're going to change things. But that may mean that if you have been accepting something that's imperfect, that you have to move to fix it. And one of the big parts of your nature is that you do like a degree of stability because you are a fixed sign. Now next week, Mercury, the planet of communication, goes into a retrograde in your seventh house of relating. So whether it's with a boss, a co-worker, uh, a family member, uh, an offspring, a sibling, or even your partner, if there are issues that need to be discussed, I think it is important that you get on the front foot and get the ball rolling. Fortunately, there's a really subtle link this week between Mercury in your sector of relating and Pluto, which is very much to do with the depth of situations. And Pluto's in a very precise area. I think the combination of these two can see you sharing how you feel in quite a clear way. The Sun's also in a conjunction with Saturn that started this week. That can bring a degree of inhibition and some cool responses from others, but I also think it brings you a reminder that you can't keep kicking the can down the road if you're not really fulfilled. Now if you're single, this is an opportunity to really start to understand what it is you want to bring into your life, the type of qualities that person would possess, but also what your needs are that need to be met. And then also start to think about what other people would want from you. And then you can start to attune your whole outlook towards your relationships in a really much more successful way.